Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make an easy fruit salad today with some seeds and nuts. So almost everything is in. What's only missing is the greens. But I have some green kiwis and some passion fruit. They're all a little bit green. Colors are important. They are significant for understanding what kind of nutrients in there. Um, but it's interesting because I make a fruit salad and that is an easy way to make again make a breakfast or even a whole meal. Breakfast is considered the most important meal. Um, everybody knows it, but it's also scientifically proven right now because the calories you eat in the breakfast count less. If you eat later, the calories begin to count more. So you have to eat less. You later, smaller meals, earlier, bigger meals. That's the simple math. And it's true. Um, so it can even can even be a third or a double or so. But breakfast is a very important meal because you can eat a lot and burn a lot for many reasons, internal and external reasons. But it doesn't matter now. Um, so if you make breakfast uh, with fruit mainly, the most work is you put the fruit, um, you wash them and um, peel them and and see them, whatever you do, that takes some time. So that's the main part of cooking. That is, you get the, you get the ingredients, wherever you get them from, the shop or from the field, wherever, and then you prepare them. In case of fruit, it's so easy. Yeah, you have to combine them. You have to decide what kind of fruit you put together. That's the first decision. Yeah, You have something and you think, okay, this could go with that. For example, I have papaya today. Yeah, the Papaya is a wonderful filling fruit. It is a real perfect f whole meal fruit. It's so filling. It has a very gentle flavor and a, oh, a soft texture. Uh, so it is good to have other fruits combined with this one that have a strong flavor, like sour cherries. Here, these cherries are wonderful. Uh, I, I bet it's a lot of work to, to peel them, uh, to, seed, uh, to, to seed them, yeah? to get the stone out. It's a stone fruit. It takes a lot of time. Um, but it is worth everything. It, uh, you have cherries mostly in winter, in summertime, and with a dry summer there are a little more cherries. So other fruits have different conditions, but um, once I have summer, I can't wait for the cherries. They are one of my favorite summer fruits, but they are all great. But this is an example to explain how to put fruit together to a nice salad. And that's mostly it for a fruit meal. Yeah? Um, that's what you have to do. You have to peel it and to touch it with your hands, to cut it and all these things. And um, that takes time, the rest is easy. So what I have to do now is make a nice dressing and that it's not very difficult. You know, I have a standard dressing here for fruit salads. That's very easy. One of the standards is a handful of cashews. You see, handful of cashew nuts, three small medium bananas. It makes a nice cream. Also fits into the blender because when you have too little in the big blender, it's not so easy to blend it because the, the blades have to be covered and they have to do some work. Otherwise, if you have too little, the blend doesn't work. So three bananas, medium bananas, and one uh, half or a half cup or handful of cashews is perfect for the blender. And one lemon here. It takes a little bit more than usual. Usually, it would take only one lemon, a uh, half lemon. Take a one lemon here because it's a dressing. If for a smoothie, I would take less. But for, for the dressing, it can look a little bit more sour because the other fruit are usually a little bit sweet. So the dressing can be a little bit over seasoned, so to say. So blender dance, let's see what happens. And with a blend, with a blend dressing with cashews and bananas and lemon, you don't need to even have to blend, blend it completely because if there are some chunks of the cashews in the banana cream dressing, it doesn't really matter, it's nice even. So now the dressing is going to show you in a moment. I know this dressing is perfect. So now I put the papaya, that's one medium papaya or small, I would say, the large ones, once you get them here, not so often. A papaya, I put them into the bowl and I have um, the cherries, the sour cherries, that's uh, almost a pound, I guess. It's a lot. <laughs> it takes some time to peel them or to, to get the stone out. 
and kiwi. Also kiwi fruit has a wonderful flavor that's full of vitamin C, really a high pack of vitamin C. But you make sure that the kiwi set is exceptional with the kiwis. Um, it has to be really ripe, that you can almost peel uh, the skin off with the fingers. Yeah, put it off. Um, oftentimes when you buy, and I buy kiwi, it's very inexpensive and very nice. Um, they are hard, not ripe and difficult to eat and the health benefits hugely higher when they are ripe and soft and then also they are they really are taste better than so this um, the key that's more important than the other fruit I, as i noticed so i have here all my ingredients the three ingredients look at these beautiful colors like one see and just to show you these beautiful colors isn't that a, a gift a treasure for the eyes a gem yeah this is what fruit are fruit are colorful beautiful and healthy. You can't eat too much fruit. It's a fact. It's a scientific fact. You cannot eat too much fruit. <laughs> yeah, you can ask me that in the comments. I would explain to you that and show you the studies. So this is now my dressing and it is a little bit firm. I blend it one more time, just shortly. Second blending, I need a little bit more. on many things for example how soft how ripe are the bananas so when a little bit firmer the blending is a little bit firmer the, 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 the cream is a little bit firmer but you see the color is so nice uh, almost white because I put a lemon in the lemon makes the keeps the dressing here light yeah white almost because um, it's antioxidant the very good um, um, quality of the lemons this antioxidant uh, quality and that is very good because the, the fruit the other ingredients they do not waste so fast and the color for example of the banana cream stays white almost white so i get it quickly out of here out of the blender and that's easy so this is now my fruit salad with uh, three ingredients three main ingredients the second part is the dressing I quickly toss it. Looks beautiful. Now I only see what the dressing does together with the fruit. The fruit, of course, now they release their color, the juice, especially the cherries, they release their red, beautiful red cherry juice into the dressing. That makes for beautiful colors in the fruit salad. And that's always a surprise if you do it the first time. I make this for the first time. <laughs> so I put it now into my glass to serve it to my salad in this case. I assume, and, um, and then I will put something on top of it, I will show you in a moment, to give it the third part. It's always a little bit exciting to have more than two parts, because two parts usually, especially when you have only ingredients as a part, as opposed to parts with three ingredients, for example, then you have a complexion. Yeah. Yeah, this is some passion fruit. Yeah, passion fruit has this these kind of seeds mostly, like pomegranate seeds. They also the main part of the fruit is the seed here too with the passion fruit. The seeds are the main part, and this wonderful, super delicious, sweet and sour, exciting flavor of the passion fruit. So I have five passion fruit here. Again, they have them inexpensive in my health food shop, and once in a while I get them. Not so often, but once in a while I have them, and then I they have them, and then I can. And I cannot stop myself. I have to get that. They're just amazing. And it's a sea, and a sea has more protein than nuts. Nuts have more fat, seeds have more protein, and fruit have more carbohydrates. That means pure energy, sugar that we can burn to fuel our body. And that's what I have here. Isn't that a, a, a poetry, a poem? That beautiful? What do you say? I can't resist now, I'm so happy. Um, so always, you know, we do something for the first time, you see it like this, and then this is the first time I said, I have no idea, I have no idea what it would look like before I put it in the glass. But now I see it, and it's beautiful. What do you think? <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy. If so, like my video and subscribe, and leave me on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day, and find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. And if you have any questions or so, uh, or remarks, you can also write in the comment sections of Facebook or YouTube channel, MD Vegan. And um, 
Then we have a list, Jen, no problem. I try to answer as soon as I can.